hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel i'm back with another video uh i'll be talking about hakai ndiwe or something about looking for hey guys welcome to my youtube channel my name is namoisi and i'm back with another video so i don't want to waste time with this video it's just going to be a quick video this is about our new president elect hakai ndi hichilema and i just did more research on him because no like um He's been around for quite some time. So Haka Ndi Ishlema was born like on, I put some notes down. That's what I'm reading from. He was born on 4th of June, 1962, and he's a businessman. Um, he's been trying to win the elections from like 2006 and finally 2021. Like, you know, the youth voted him in because I know people were like, you know what, enough is enough. Everyone was tired. Like, I mean, yeah, so he's for like UPND, like that's his party. And um, yeah, like despite having to having been trying to like be president since 2006 he was also arrested in 2017 for treason um he blocked the president's motorcade and yeah he got arrested for that because he was putting the president's life in danger and despite all that like he still pushed for zambians like he still um went ahead went the extra mile to you know stand again as president and this time people recognized him they're like okay yeah, let's see what you got you know Let's try something new. The people want change. Um, yeah, and also with um, HH, there was a time, like, because you see, he's very rich. He's a very rich person. I mean, he's like the richest man in Zambia. And at some point in his life, he was, people thought he was a Freemason. A Freemason is basically um, these rich people that make decisions on poor people's lives. And he denied all the allegations. He denied everything. <laughs> Apart from the presidential part, one thing that's really caught my attention about him is that he's like the richest man in Zambia. So we've got a rich president. We are, like He's not a president. He's a president-elect. But once he gets inaugurated, that word. Just think of it, a businessman leading us. I feel like Zambia is going to get better. If it doesn't, I mean, we can change the government again. We've done it before, we did it now, we're gonna do it again. Forbes, he was on the Forbes listing and his estimate net worth was around $389 million. Uh, yeah, and he owns multiple Keto ranches uh, across Zambia. Also want to tell you know, about how the, the Bali name started. So I'm going to put a screenshot here. And I'll explain it. So he asked a question like on Twitter. Um, I think he asked what's wrong Something those and I'll put the screenshot. Yeah, and this guy was speaking in screw screw like I also didn't understand what he was saying Like it was just what 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 and then he's like the only thing I understood here is ABC I'm gonna put the screenshot here. Yeah, and <clears throat> He's like what is a Bali and that like, oh Bali is a father you know these screws because I was like, hey, Bali will pay, you know? Yeah, and that's how the whole Bali will pay name came and it stuck, like, see? That's it for the video. It was just, it was just like a quick short video, just, you know, talking about our president and I just want to congratulate him. I know I doubt he's going to see this video, but I want to congratulate the president and I hope that Zambia is going to become better, especially for the young people. Because these elections, most of the people that voted were the youth. Like, he won by over, um, like, over 500,000 votes. Uh, he beat the current president Edgar Lungu with over 500,000 votes and that's mostly with the youth and everything you know like he targeted the youth like you talk to us on Twitter start conversations and like engaging like he always um, he's very good with people that's what I can say from what I've seen because he came to Twitter he saw that people like social media he went to social media there was a time in Zambia the nurses and doctors weren't getting paid and he went to the hospital side encouraging them like that's from what I'm seeing I don't know if someone else is seeing this too I feel like he's a really nice person and I really hope Zambia is gonna change for me for me all I want all I want in Zambia is for there to be like I want the aviation industry to grow in Zambia you guys know I'm studying in South Africa to be a pilot and if I could study in Zambia I would but at this point it's impossible i can do zaf training but i don't want to be a zaf pilot i want to be a civilian pilot so it's different and if the aviation industry in zambia can grow under this government that's going to be more that's going to make me more than happy thank you guys for watching my video i hope you enjoyed it please like subscribe and share